Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Barry Swindler. I'm from Chiropractic Nutrition Clinic in Wake Forest, North Carolina. My contact information is here on the sign. Uh, here's my website, chiropractorwakeforest.com, along with my phone number uh, and my address. Today I'm here to talk to you about food allergies and how I test for them in my office. Before I get into that, I want to lay some, break, lay some uh, a foundation down on how I test for food allergies. I do this through the applied kinesiology technique. And for those of you that do, do not know anything about applied kinesiology, it's basically a muscle testing diagnostic tool. Now I've been certified in this technique now for 13 years. Uh, I got certification back when I graduated from chiropractic college, which was 13 years ago. So I use this a lot in my office. Uh, food allergies cause a lot of uh, issues with people. Um, people that have an allergy to wheat uh, develop Crohn's disease. There's many other health conditions that I could talk to, talk to you about that food allergies cause, but I won't get into them. I basically just want to see, I want you to see how I test for these food allergies in my office. People that have these food allergies, uh, if they continue to eat uh, certain foods, they will not hold their adjustments. You know, I'm a chiropractor first, so I believe in adjusting the spine, but for people that get adjusted and they just don't seem to hold their adjustments, there's the reason why, and as a doctor, we, you know, I have to ask why, and many times it's food allergies, and there's three big ones. There's many other ones, but there's three big ones, and I have them right here. They are corn, wheat, and dairy. Now, all this is for corn is ground up corn, and for dairy is powdered milk, and for wheat it's just wheat. I bought this at the grocery store. And how I do this in my office is by having the patient t taste the nutrient to see what change it causes in the body. What I usually start with is our strong muscles, both upper extremity and lower extremity, and I have the person, the patient taste the nutrient and see what changes it causes uh, in the body. So what I'm going to do is I'll have my patient come over here and lay down on the table, and I'm just going to pick a couple of strong muscles, both upper extremity and lower extremity. And first I'm going to pick on of the pectoralis major sternal. It's right here on the chest. And what I'm going to have him do is keep his elbows straight and have him push towards his opposite uh, pelvis. So push over here for me. And now, that's a strong muscle. I could pick on the anterior deltoid. Push straight up that way. And I see that's a strong muscle. I can drop this down and have him bring a quadricep muscle up here and push your knee towards your shoulder and push forward. Push hard. And I see these muscles come to a, a lock, or they're, they're neurologically strong. We call that neurologically facilit facilitated. I'm going to start off with uh, corn. Have them taste the nutrient and then see what type of change it causes in the body. So put a little bit of corn on the tongue. Well, that's a little bit more than what he probably wanted, but um, he got it. Bring this up for me and push straight across over here for me. Push straight across over here. And no change on that. And give us some water here. Get you a little drink of that. Chase that down. <clears throat> Bring this back up here. Push across the body over here. Go ahead and push across. And no change. Push one more time. Push. No change on that. We'll go back to dairy here. A little bit of dairy on the tongue. Just go ahead and taste this for me. There you go. And now look. push over here for me. Push. And I'm pushing back and I'm pushing the opposite way. And that's strong too. So he's okay on that. And last but not least is the wheat. Give them a little taste of wheat here on the tongue. What happens here is they taste it, the brain re recognizes what it is, and the muscle test will give me uh, some feedback whether if the body likes it or not through a muscle test. Push over here for me. And that right there, push over here, that just blows them right out. 
long, that's a pectoralis major push up here for me. Same way with that push up. His body just shuts right down. Quadricep push up for me. There's nothing there. So there I would say have this patient uh, stay off wheat for probably a month, bring him back in uh, and check. Let me get that tissue for you. you got some on the side of your face there. There you go, grab this right here. Of course, that's the side of your face. Have him stay off that for about 30 days, come back and check and see. If he, if he shows again, I'm going to figure that's probably a, a true wheat allergy. He just needs to stay away from it. So that's how, that's, uh, how I test for food allergies in my office. Um, again, if uh, you can reach me by phone or uh, check me out on my website. I have other videos of uh, uh, food allergies and so forth on there. Well, thank you for watching.